So the idea behind the mercenaries in Dust is that, um, unlike a lot of other games, you're not just a soldier on the battlefield. Um, the idea is that they've, they've taken the best people that they have, they've taken their best soldiers, their best killers, and they've modified them to make them immortal. So when you die in dust, essentially your memories, your personality is being transferred and, and inserted into another clone where they just throw you back into the battlefield again. So not only do you have these people who know they can't really permanently die, but they're also suited up in the, the highest technology, the, the most dangerous gear that they can give them this far in the future. Um, you, you're wearing suits that are armored, you're wearing suits that have environment systems, they have shields. So, uh, you know, really you're going out there in the, in the equivalent of like a, a heavily armored tank. Um, and all of the firepower that's being thrown around on the battlefield is much larger because of that. Another key difference with dust is when the boots hit the battlefield. It's when the mercs are fighting on the surface of the planets. Well, you know, typically in an FPS game, you pick roles. You know, you're the rocket guy, you're the sniper guy, you're the assault guy, and everyone knows what everybody else has. Within Dust, we have a system called fitting, which is much more akin to uh, an RPG-style system. Now, this really allows the players to take ownership of their character and their roles. They can create different fits uh, to suit different tactics on the battlefield and also to respond to the changing behaviours of others. This adds a further layer of strategy when you're planning your battle and trying to take control of a planet. Weapons and dust are kind of an interesting uh, topic as well. Most of the time when people build first-person shooters, they're trying to build guns that look like real-world equivalents. However, the mercenaries in dust are not actually like humans. Um, they're, they're biologically enhanced, they're, they're built, they're clones. Um, and they're wearing armor and they're wearing, they've got shielding systems. So one of the things we really push for in Dust is the idea that they're, they're more reckless with their lives and they're more reckless with what they're willing to use as firepower than normal people are. So one of the good examples is um, the, the Galente race tends to focus on, on blasters. Um, and blasters are essentially a plasma technology. You're, you're accelerating stuff into a plasma state, wrapping it in a magnetic bottle and then throwing at people to light them on fire. And so we really want to play up the idea that, you know, you're immortal, you're armored, you're shielded, you know that you've been built to take more punishment than a normal human ever could. And so when you're firing a blaster, you don't care about the fact that it's, uh, it's throwing plasma everywhere, it's probably heating up the surrounding to incredible degrees, and that any normal human that wasn't armored and shielded, just picking up the gun and shooting it would light them on fire.